All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream by night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake in the day to find it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act on their dreams with open eyes to make them possible. What's up guys, welcome to another episode of the Hit The Road Madeira vlog. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today I'm playing the role of tourist and ticking off a massive item of my personal bucket list. I'm climbing Pico, uh, Mount Pico, which is behind us, uh, the highest peak in Portugal. So we're with uh, Manuel over here from a company called Pico Me Up which you may have seen already that we've been spending a couple of days with them. And uh, we've just arrived at the Casa da Montanha, which is pretty much the, the, the base camp of Pico. Um, and we've been given these bags because just as I had wished, we're going to be camping up there. So we're going to be seeing sunset, stars, sunrise. We're above the clouds right now. It's absolutely epic. So. There's a couple of uh, young ladies joining us who are clients from uh, Pico Me Up. So we're, we're in uh, total seven people. Um, we're getting all of our stuff ready over here. And then I'm assuming that we're checking into the, the Casa de Montaigne because I believe everybody gets checked in. So um, yeah, super excited. Clear day. It looks like we're going to have great weather. There's a little bit of wind, but I believe that's going to go away. So uh, yeah, super excited. Stay tuned. This is going to be an awesome vlog. Hello guys, my name is Mano Willart and uh, I'm a mountain guide in Pico Mountain in Azores. So today we're going to climb the highest mountain of Portugal, 2,351. We're going to sleep up there. Today is my second climb I did. I, I made it uh, 160 climbs to the top. Wow. To go up, we take normally three hours and a half to four with stops we, to drink water, to eat, and uh, to come down around four, four hours. I mean, I don't even know what to say. Crazy clouds with uh, Fayal Island over there. It's looking absolutely beautiful. We've done maybe about 30 minutes of uh, hiking and we're on post number two. And I believe there is 47 posts. Manuel, 47 posts. I think it's 47 posts on the way up and we're on number two. So, um, but we're feeling good and it's such a beautiful day. So uh, yeah, I mean, pfft, just amazing, amazing. So it's not really like physical, physical. It's more of a technical kind of hike and we just met this uh, white haired dude coming down, white beard, white hair and I had to ask him how old he was, 75 years old 
Hans from Finland. Yeah. No, Norway. Sorry. And uh, he was just coming down from uh, from the top. So, uh, man, if he can do it, then any one of us can do it. Que é o mineral, então? Mineral da montanha. Mineral da montanha? Sim. Posso? Em português chama-se Pirocima. Pirocima. That was absolutely grueling. <laughs> We've made it now to the crater. Um, to get here, it took us about four and a half hours. And I believe the hike is, is somewhere around four hours. So I guess not bad considering we're filming and stuff. Uh, but yeah, really tough hike. Mentally, physically, you know, it's not uh, for little boys and girls. This is a proper hike. Um, we're setting up camp. So now the fun can begin, right? Uh, I just noticed there's a little bit of snow there. You guys see that? We'll, we'll go and check that out in a bit. So we're gonna set up camp somewhere around here. Um, then we're gonna go and see the sunset, which should be amazing. And then tomorrow we're climbing Piquinho, which is the little tip at the end of the crater. We made it. I've been in the darkness for 40 days I've been searching for holy flame Jeff, what's the best thing about camping? Uh, I must admit it's not putting up the tents <laughs> It's about, it's the night sky for me, it's always the nice guy. Como é que foi? Speed or peak? Foi difícil, mas de certa forma fácil. Como é que foi fácil? A nível de tempo, para subir a parte que é exigente, mas depois há partes que são mais fáceis. Então, tens um tempo para recuperar a meio do curso. Estás confiante que amanhã sobes o Pequim? Acho que sim. Acho que sim. A coisa mais fácil de dizer não, não é? É, é, é mesmo um desafio, não é? Pronto, só vais fazer isso amanhã. humble and we got to be kind you know I've got this um, thing that I say when I'm doing my tours and especially when I'm doing my sunrise tours I usually say that good clients or good people get good sunrises and I'm sorry for all of you guys who haven't gotten good sunrises and are good people uh, because of course you know it's not a perfect life but you know, when, when you're going through life and you expect good things and you're a good person and you try your best and you know, you, you, 
you're a positive and optimistic person, then you're gonna get positive and optimistic results. This trip had so many things that could go wrong. Uh, in fact, you know, some of them did go wrong, like losing the drone, but so many things went right. And I mean, just this night is probably gonna be, I mean, I know it will be a night that none of us will ever forget. Um, at least not uh, until we come back here again which we definitely gonna do. That's like, I'm sold on this place, I'm coming back. Yeah, but now, I'm so hungry. And the food looks amazing. It's like home cooked and these guys are all, like they're friends with all the, the little restaurants and it's like one big family, it's amazing. All the food is amazing and like, yeah, it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? Yeah. After this, we're gonna try and uh, shoot some, uh, some, uh, some stars, yeah? Yeah, astrophotography. Hell yeah. Am I alone? Am I alone? Or can you help me out? Am I alone? Am I alone? Or are you speaking out? Are you speaking out? So that's the famous shadow, if you guys can see the shadow of the, the mountain. And uh, I mean, it's just a no-brainer that it looks like a pyramid. We saw pyramids yesterday. I must admit, coming up here, I was coming up with some pretty, uh, pretty crazy ideas that I can't wait to, to get back to Madeira to implement. So uh, this trip has, for sure, changed my life. And um, I see myself coming back to Pico every year. Uh, or every second year, depending on how things go. But I, I'm gonna come back here so many times, and every time it's gonna be with Pico Me Up. Veronica's on the mic, and uh, you know, one of the things that we've, we've learned, you know, and that we can learn from this is that the people around you are the people who are gonna influence your life. So if you wanna, good life if you want to climb mountains then you got to be around people who climb mountains and uh, the guys that pick me up not only do they climb mountains you know but they are visionaries uh, i see very very good things for them here in pico i consider them you know part of the hit the road family already uh, already like days ago since we arrived really and um, you know i can see really really good things happening with this company and uh, yeah, you know, Veronica, yeah, yeah, you had something to say, right? You, you were quite nervous to climb up here. Ah, yeah. When I came to the crater, at the end, I had an attack of shock because I was afraid that it would never be possible to get to this point. During the night, I didn't sleep at all. I was mal disposta because I was afraid to get attacks of anxiety, because I thought I wouldn't be able to climb the mountain. But thanks to Manuel, I could climb very easily and I could climb two or three times if it was necessary. Portanto, acho que se um dia querem subir o pico, tem que vir realmente com o Pick Me Up, com o Manuel. Um, porque ele ajuda bastante. Eu sou uma pessoa que tem medo de alturas e consegui fazer isto na boa. Portanto, yeah. That's it. Now it's time to go down, get our t-shirts, and, um, and then uh, head to the airport. So, yeah. Tchim -tchim. Tchim. Some green tea as well from, the, from São Jorge, São Miguel. São Miguel. Green tea from São Miguel, who would have thought? Great. Tabada can't. Map Spain. Well, our time in the Azores is almost over. Our time at Pico is over. Uh, climbing Pico was just phenomenal, right? So, in the description of this video, I'm gonna write up a little blog about kind of like little tips that I can give on how to climb, you know, how to prepare. These guys say that, you, you know, the best preparation is riding a bicycle. You gotta have some really good boots and really good clothes. So I'll write up all the fine details on our blog on how to do that. Um, also, I'm definitely coming back. 
So I'm speaking with the guys from uh, Pico, Pico Me Up and we'll do a kind of like a one week with me and one week with us here, right? So I'm thinking end of the summer this year and another week next year. Sounds awesome. We're gonna figure it out. We'll put that link in the description as well. So if you wanna join us and you wanna go on this mad adventure with this epic company, Pico Me Up, then you can. Uh, David, anything, uh, anything you want to say to, to the viewers? I want to say that if you don't believe what Jeff is saying, that you don't believe in God. And to me personally, um, it was an honor to meet you, your team. And uh, if you want to know more, just like and subscribe to the channel right here. That's it. That's uh, all I got to say. David, thanks buddy. I can't wait to see you Cheers. again, man. Cheers, buddy. It was really my pleasure. Oh, man. Really my pleasure. I really, really enjoyed it. See you guys later. Let's hit the road.